Good afternoon and welcome to Homer's Heath here at uh, Buckland Athletic Football Club based in Newton Abbott. Uh, it's a, a very special spot for me. Uh, I actually had the privilege and pleasure of uh, managing here uh, a number of years ago. But um, we've come up here with the, the Helston side. I've come up today in the Tool Station Western League game. Um, all the highlights are going to be brought to you by the mounting goat that is Purim Films. Weber in along and it does it's gone deep into there and it's there's oh it was nearly 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 McCarthy Jordan McCarthy having ahead header couldn't get any power behind it lots of space by trying to you know but it's got to go longer than that they're going to make an impression Ryan Bush and Bush play the flags down where is it sticks it oh what an opportunity for Josh Weber the Helson defence standing there looking to say it was offside. The linesman said not. We've got, got a good good insight into here. Position for the Helston corner. It's coming long. It's good. Oh, I thought he was going to go over Farkins. Great header away from Farkins as Bentley was steaming in at the back post. Lots of good play at the moment. He's, his play is relishing this surface to play on. He jinx, turns, twists. And plays a super ball into Simmons. Oh, and Simmons. Oh, how unfortunate. Carter winning in the end. And Jewel, there's a bit of um, head tennis going on here. But it drops to, drops to Payne. Payne to the ball. Dropped in Rolken, Rosenquist. Payne. Payne has now won the ball into Cop, who's caused, caused Buckland problems. And he goes, strikes at the ball, gets the room for a shot at the goal. Again, good play by Jordan Kopp. You feel that if Helson can get the ball into him as much as possible, he can make things happen. Finn Roberts dropping the ball in. But Josh Weber is run, he's offside. Payne runs over the ball. Wilson strikes it into the... To his, by strikes. And Kopp, and Kopp, and Kopp ends up with the final shot at goal. Straight into Collings' his hands and... The Buckland goalkeeper, he kicks quickly out to Bush, and Bush is trying to can't keep hold of it. Helston have the ball again. By this time coming forward. Rosenquest turning Roberts to Payne. Payne is trying to send Wilson in down the down side. And Milton gets it all wrong. Good touch by Wilson. He's he's rolling, he tries to run. It was it was on. I have to say the fair play, the ball was on, but you've got to execute it and pass a little bit better in there. Anyway, Buckland on the attack this time. And Weber, Weber squaring up, he squares across the goal. And from one end to another. Get in there, from it. one end to another. Push it. You had one pass from, from Ruben Wilson just to make, to slide into Cop, and he goes in onto goal. It gets cut out. Buckland attack on the counter immediately. Ball, ball finds itself up to Weber. Weber across and across into the box. And the big guy coming in at the back post, Ryan Bush. Fires it into the roof of the net. Buckland one, Helston nil. Helston get away again. Simmons. Rosenquest loses it to Roberts. Roberts is to Long. Webb has dropped it short and Cops picked up on the ball. Buys going outside of Cop. He slid, he slid one into Wilson, and you have to say again that that little bit of squeezed out by Milton and Farkins. Wilson squeezed out. They got Ryan Bush, the goal scorer. He turns back onto his right foot. He goes in for goal. Corey Harvey just sees it wide of the far post. Payne, they're just playing again between themselves, and this is Gondolin Long. It's dropped to Bay. By slides one, what a what a diving stop by Farkins. He threw himself at the ball because that ball was well on its way from Matty By. So the referee finally blows his whistle at the end of the first half, where Buckland in a tight game and a game really short of prolonged quality lead one goal to nil. Bushy strikes at the goal. 
positive start from the from the Buckland side, straight from the kickoff. It's long, it's gone into the back post. It's dropped down again and it got oh it nearly drops to Harrison Jewell. It's come out to Jordan Bentley. Jordan's trying to place it. Thank God for the clearance. Thank Roberts clears it nicely. Right, the bye. Bring it up to Simmons. It's Simmons can't uh, pull it again, but buys in again quickly. Buys, I think, on a on a yellow card. Um, I'm thinking here that Matty Bai is on a yellow card. We uh, have to see what the referee is going to do here. If he goes into his pocket, it's with the yellow. It's um, it's gone for Matty Bai, and for the second year on the trot. Second year on the trot, Matt Bai departs before the end of the game. You have to say that um, with all his experience, with all his experience he's had in the years, and he's, he's skipper of the side here, that um, any little challenges like that has now left with the rest of his teammates. I say for the second year on the trot, second fixture with Helston and Buckland, sees the departure of Matt Bai. Long to Jordan Bentley, a good little header. And I have to say the uh, Helston boys are back on the heels again. And Crocker's put a great... Has put a great little ball. Crocker's put a great little ball into Weber. And Weber is there just before Corey Harvey. Lifts it delicately over the keeper and Tom Payne trying to come back onto the line to try and clear it. Is unable to, to clear the ball. And Buckland go two goals up. He's gone long here and Crocker. Crocker is at a pace. Lovely touch, lovely touch. Outpacing Bentley at the moment. He turns back onto his left foot. Rossi back in and Carter. Carter support him. Strikes it goal. It's wide. Bentley's caught on the ball after Cop was trying to appeal. Weber again. Cuts back and jinks on back his left foot. He drops on the edge of the box to Carter. Carter flicks it across to Morgan and now. And that's out on the A380. Might be on its way to Exeter. Tyler Elliott. His first touch is coming on the substitute. The duel. Duel with some space in front of him. He's running forward. Elliot is round him, tries to take a little one into a beautiful little ball into to Payne, unable to beat it in. Carter, Carter and Weber making good one twos, and Weber's through on his own. He's got one on one. Is Corey Harvey's? He touched a little bit too long, but he hasn't. It isn't. And Weber has his second goal of the game. Lovely little one two. And Weber speeds and runs from the halfway line. Harvey's out. And he slides it underneath him for Buckland's third goal of the game. Buckland Athletic 3, Helston 0. Payne's robbed. Payne is robbed and he's gone for the little chip here. And he's going to say fair play. He's really impressed me today, Kieran Bridger. It's gone up again here. The hand's gone up here again for offside. The linesman is now, the linesman, this is, I tell you what, this is what happens here. Here is the perfect example, the perfect example of the of the decision that came in a number of seasons now to flag late. And we have a situation there where there could have been a serious injury. He has been flagged offside. I don't know why the linesmen don't back themselves and stick the flag up and it's offside. I don't understand what can be gained. If you've got the VAR and you've got the television, I can understand that. But in this grassroots level down here, why officials are being told to flag late, I don't know, because there, in an instance, you could have had a serious injury. It's been a, a gorgeous sunny day here. But certainly the sun's been shining, certainly on the Buckland side, particularly in the second half. And you have to say, as the sun goes lower, a little lower behind the back of the hill, it's setting on Helston's performance today here up in Newton Abbott. Buckland paint short to Weber. Draws it in into the back post. Farkins is up high. 
Can't direct it on target. And Helston have a goal kick. Rosenquist, he's trying to play. He's trying to play. There is, he's, and Rubens, Wilson in there. And Wilson strikes it goal. Collings, with hardly anything to do this second half, makes a great save. He was just down to Buckland, they've got the ball out. And now there's a break on. It's a lovely ball. That, and he's played it in one team, looks offside here. It's Crocker. But it's a great save on him, but Crocker has fastened it in. I have to say, it looked a little offside here. From when he, when he, um, Crocker first came onto the ball, and rather, rather fortunately, the Harvey coming out making a great save. The ball rebounds back off him, and it trickles over the line. It's not going to affect the game because um, you know uh, that uh, Buckland were three, three up in here. But I had to say, I thought that was uh, a good yard, two yards offside, but it stays, and we're into injury time now. Buckland grabbed their fourth of the game. Buckland Athletic four, Helston nil. Nobody's got the best of Harrison Jewell today. He's been immense at the back there. And Tegan Rosenquest up front has been uh, excellent. Kieran Bridger in the middle of the park for uh, Buckland has been instigational in uh, all, the, uh, all the play and all the good stuff that's come from Buckland. He's been on it. Weber with the two goals. They've been the most influential players of the game. And the referee blows the whistle, final whistle, up here at Homer's Heath, the home of Buckland Athletic, where the home side has won convincingly by four goals to nil.